Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where's Zane's peekaboo? Welcome back to the Carnahan fam. Today we are continuing on with our developmental milestone series where every month we look at the developmental milestones for your baby and tell you activities that you can do with your baby to help them reach those milestones. This series goes from birth to 24 months and is nearly finished. So if you enjoy this video, we hope you continue learning and growing with us through this developmental milestone series. Let's get started. Our first set of milestones that we're going to be working on today are gross motor milestones. And gross motor milestones relate to the large muscles in your body. So the arm, the trunk, the legs, those kinds of muscles are what are involved in gross motor skills. Around 13 months old, you'll notice your baby starting to take an increased interest in climbing on furniture, on chairs, which is great for helping them develop stronger muscle tone in those large muscle groups. We're going to help foster this interest with your baby by allowing them opportunities to climb, taking the cushions off of your couch and setting them on the floor, giving them the steps to be able to climb up on, helping baby to climb onto low chairs or other safe climbable furniture will help your baby to develop that muscle tone and foster the interest in climbing. Our next developmental milestone for your 13 month old baby is that if your baby is not independently walking at this point, your baby will enjoy walking around by using furniture because it gives them greater stability when walking. Small pieces of furniture such as child sized chairs or stools, especially laying on their side or even on a hardwood floor, give your baby that opportunity to easily push an object and gain that stability walking. Again! Our next set of milestones are fine motor milestones which relate to the muscles in your child's hands and fingers. The first fine motor milestone that we're going to be working on with your 13 month old baby today is that your baby can remove the lid from a low pressure container. You can help baby practice this activity by simply giving them containers and the opportunity to remove those lids. Easily removable caps on stamps, chapstick, or even loosely fitted lids on a Tupperware container are great ways for your baby to be able to practice this skill. Open, closed, open. What do you got? That. It's a chapstick. You put it on your lips. Mm. Mm. Yeah, kind of like that. Our next fine motor milestone for your 13 month old baby is that when given a crayon, your baby will make some marks on the page. It might be surprising and you may be a little nervous to give your baby some writing utensils at this age, but not only is it really developmentally appropriate for them, but it's great for helping them build that hand strength. If you're worried about the mess, I would highly recommend these Crayola mess free markers. They are our absolute favorite and they only work on special paper. So, so whether your baby goes for the table, their wall or their own hands, mess free markers contain the mess onto the special page. So I'll leave a link to those as well as the other products that we'll be using in this video in the description below. Our next set of milestones that we're gonna be working on with your 13 month old baby are cognitive milestones. And these are the milestones that are related to the way that your baby thinks, problem solves, and even remembers things. Our first cognitive milestone is that your baby enjoys trial and error interactions with objects. A great way to practice this is with some nesting cups. As baby experiments putting the cups inside of each other, seeing which ones fit and which ones don't, your baby will be able to play with that trial and error experience. You got it, sissy. The cup went in. This next cognitive milestone goes along really well with that trial and error experience. And that is that your baby enjoys experiment-based play. Kind of the idea of what happens if I do this? often looking for that cause and effect. A great way to support this interest is by doing a filling and emptying activity with your child. Provide your child a small container as well as a few small objects for them to put inside the container and take out again. It works especially well if the container is something that your baby can pick up and shake as they put the objects inside the container and then they take it back out again. <laughs> Our next set of milestones 
milestones for your 13 month old baby are self care milestones. And self care milestones are milestones that are related to the way that your baby takes care of their own basic needs. The first self care milestone for your 13 month old baby is that your baby is becoming more proficient with using a spoon to self feed. A great way to practice this is by continuing to give your baby the opportunity to use a spoon, especially with thicker foods. So puddings, cottage cheese, yogurt, all work very well for helping your baby practice with those spoon skills. Okay, here's a spoon, and here is your yogurt. self-care milestone is that your baby with greater ease can take off easily removable clothing objects. This is hats, socks, shoes, and even little hair bows. If your baby doesn't do this skill spontaneously on their own, you can model for your baby how to remove their socks, how to remove their hat, and put it back on. But I have to warn you, once you open that can of worms, it is never going to end. Sissy, look what I found. Did I find your hat? Hey, you look cute in your hat. Is that your hat? Uh -huh. Hey! Ainsley! Peekaboo! Our last set of milestones for today are going to be social and emotional milestones, which are milestones related to the way that your baby understands their own feelings as well as navigates their interactions with others. Our first socially emotional milestone is that your baby will begin to start asking for help. Now this comes with modeling. The best way to practice modeling for your child to ask for help is that when your baby begins to fuss showing their need for something, model help, help, help. Over time, your baby will start independently asking for that help. If you want to go ahead and teach your baby this sign as well, the sign is made by giving yourself a little thumbs up, placing your hand beneath, and moving it upward. Help. I personally have found that the sign is a little complex for my toddlers to have learned, but the word help, which often comes out as help, help, is much more easily accessible to them. But whatever works best for your baby. Ooh, is it slippery now? <laughs> Yeah, it's slippery because your hands are covered in chapstick now. Yeah, you need help. Good girl. Do you need help? Good girl. Yes, I can help you. The last social emotional milestone that we're going to cover today is the beginning of the egocentric toddler phase, where your baby believes that the world does in fact revolve around them. You can help your baby overcome this misconception by practicing taking turns with baby. If baby comes over to you wanting what you have, trying to take it out of your hand, say, oh, it's my turn, playing with it just a little bit more. Then give baby the opportunity to play with that object and continue on practicing taking turns. Well, that about wraps up our developmental milestones for today. We so hope you guys are enjoying this series as we learn and grow with our babies together. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we do encourage you to subscribe. We have new videos every Tuesday and Friday focusing on activities for your young children, ways to be a more productive mom, and lifestyles of our own. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here with us today and we will see you again this Friday. Until next time, bye.